yeah, I've got them. This is my presentation, Art the Infinite. So yeah, I did uh, Art Never Dies by Sonny Rollins. You probably already know him by now, the saxophone um, musician. Did Art Never Dies. I argue that um, he thinks that art is infinite. It comes from the soul. It is a feeling. And I did something. I did a Salvador Dali. Probably already known by now. Um, play the bass, funny little mustache, surrealist painter. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, first painting I chose is the Great Masturbate from 1990, uh, 1929. So as you can see, it's quite surreal. A lot of mass, a lot of weird stuff going on. Grasshopper down there, some weird little guys on the side, a woman popping out of this mass. Um, so this was actually one of Dolly's first surreal paintings. And uh, he was inspired by uh, this woman named Gala. And uh, Gala was his muse. It still is his muse, well, at least from when he was alive, and his wife. And this really argues uh, emotion because he was heavily inspired by her sex by his sexual desires for Gala. Same with this one. Dream caused by the flight of a bee around a pomegranate a second before awakening. Uh, Dolly actually really likes his long titles for his art. Um, we can see Gala right here laying down on this floating pedestal. There's a floating pomegranate right there. Um, a bigger pomegranate which has a fish coming out of it, which has tigers coming out of that fish. And uh, yeah, very odd. We also have the uh, weird elephants in the background. This kind of has the same gist as the first one, as there was a lot of emotional value to it. A lot of, uh, you know, a lot of that. And we cannot have Dolly without his most famous painting, The Persistence of Memory. Now, whereas the other two paintings tackled emotion, this one tackles memory. It represents the feelings of the soul. Mem memories are uh, quite vivid but they will fade. This is kind of vivid in the fact that you can't really remember, uh, recognize a lot of the stuff, but at the same time, it feels kind of familiar. You have some clocks drooping, the most uh, iconic part of the, of the painting, but we also have some other odd, uh, odd pieces, like the ocean, which is completely still, which is uncharacteristic of, uh, uncharacteristic of an ocean, a weird metallic box right there on the side, and a tree branch. And, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, I guess it didn't update. But I had a quote by Sonny Rollins that said, we are not here to live forever. Humans and materialism die, but there is no dying in art. Thank you. Okay, audience, questions, comments? I really like how with the last um, thing you sh like, were pointed out how with the ocean was still, how the like, ocean's head is still like that, it's like, we're getting them in a really sense. Yeah, I was gonna say, I like the interpretations you have for those, the paintings that you chose. I thought they brought an interesting perspective to paintings I've seen before. I love your choice of rivals. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'll go ahead. So, how does he make his mustache look? <laughs> I'm guessing a lot of gel. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of trimming. Yeah. I've never had a mustache like that. <laughs> he was a very performative artist, and so he was, I think, receiving a lot of interesting artworks, but he also lived like, in that performance, right? He, he was a performer. You know, very much a performer and was that a public character. Yeah, a character, certainly. Mm -hmm. yeah, his mustache, among other things. Uh, I'm curious, because you had mentioned in um, your connection to Sonny Rollins' Art Never Dies, that um, art is infinite, coming from the soul. What is it about these paintings that you brought up today Well, that, uh, that, have, that reflect that kind of infinite, you know, coming from the soul value that yeah, a lot of these were from his emotions. I like, I think I've explained a lot about it in the essay. I kind of just wrote these down 
really quick, and they're kind of just bullet points. But um, it's a lot of uh, deep emotions that you couldn't really express through words, so he really just put it through paint, and you could clearly see like a lot of his uh, abstract art is just all over the place. So, okay, great. Any other questions or comments? Thank you, Gavin.